In this video, we will discuss how to import tabular data in a CSV file using a lookup model, and then build a fit approximation on it using the new FAST method in HyperStudy. What is the FAST method? FAST stands for Fit Automatically Selected by Training. Basically, it selects the best available fit from a list of available methods you have chosen. In addition to selecting the best method, FAST also automatically adjusts the individual settings, often called hyperparameters, to find the optimizing predictive performance while avoiding overfitting. It uses the cross-validation R-squared for fit quality comparison between methods. This method fits both noisy and non-noisy data and reduces the methods on which FAST iterates in order to reduce the run time. We can run in multi-execute while simultaneously iterating over multiple responses. Let's use HyperStudy to import some tabular data and then build a fit approximation on it using the new FAST method. First, let's take a look at our tabular data. We have two variables and three functions. To do this in HyperStudy, we need to use a lookup model. So let's select Define Models, Add Model, and then select Lookup. Next, we define the resource as our CSV file. This could be data from test data or simulation. Next, we select Import Variables. In this window, we want to specify that we have two design variables. Now, when we select Define Input Variables, we can see that these variables have been imported. Let's select Next to define and run the nominal run. If we look at the evaluation data and the CSV file, we can see that HyperStudy read the data from the CSV file as the first line in the file matches what we see in HyperStudy. Now, in order to build the approximation, we first need to read and import the entire data from the CSV file. To do this, let's create a new DOE approach. Let's go to Specifications and select Run Matrix. Then for the matrix file, select the CSV file. Now let's select Next and then select Evaluate Tasks. We can use the multi-execute function in order to read the data faster. Now all the data is fully imported. This data can be used as an input matrix to build a fit. Let's go ahead and add another approach and this time select Fit. Now let's select Next and then select Add Matrix and leave it set to the DOE matrix we previously created. Let's go ahead and select Import Matrix. Now let's move to Specifications and notice that FAST is automatically selected for all the functions. Let's select Apply, and then Next, and then Evaluate Tasks. The fit approximations have been built. Now let's move to Post Processing and select Diagnostics. Here we can see the diagnostics for all the functions. We can see the settings for the fit approximations and the value of R squared. This table is a simplified representation of the information. The R-squared values are color-coded. Green values are good, red values are not good, and black values indicate that you should apply judgment when determining whether the value is good or not. To get detailed diagnostics, we need to select one of the functions, and the table below is populated. Next, let's look at the residuals. In the residuals, we can see that the error and percentage between the original output responses and the approximation is listed. And in trade-off, we can see the response surfaces 2D or 3D trade-off for all of the functions. We can also export the fit approximations as Pi fit reports in order to use it later in other studies using the model type HyperStudy fit.